Well, I don't know how many of you guys have this problem, but I'm going to make a quick video about how to deal with it. This old nanny girl here likes to stick her head through the fence and get stuck. And it looks like she's probably been here since I left for work this morning. I mean, she's had a nice 10 hour day stuck here in the rain. But I've got a fix. Let me show you guys how to prevent your goats from doing this. It's all right, girl. Come on, let's go get you some some feed. Come on. Come on. So two days ago, we've gotten her head stuck in the fence a little further up. It's pouring down rain. I got her loose and took her up to the barn and hadn't had a chance, but I'm going to remedy this today. She's stuck again in almost the same spot, just about 10 foot further down. So, a piece of PVC, it's an inch in diameter. You can use duct tape or electrical tape. I prefer the electrical tape, so that's what I'm going to use. careful not to get it too tight because there is blood flowing underneath those sheaths. Let me get you a little bit of a wrap started here. Go behind the horns here and wrap around a time or two. Kind of go to the other side making a bit of a figure eight. I just want to get this to stay on for, you know, maybe a week or two and train her that as she tries to go through the fence, her head won't fit like it did before. And this is going to prevent her for at least until it falls off. But there's a possibility it'll train her to stop that behavior so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Some people call it the stick of shame or, you know, a couple different names for it. Mine's just a cheap, easy preventative from having to walk the fence and pull heads up. <laughs> 